And so now we get to see the, the true strength of the, uh, the French Eco. OP French Eco. So you want to be rushing Feudal Age as quickly as possible. And for that, you do need your scout on the sheep. That sheep farming. A lot of people underestimate sheep. They'll use a still, especially early gamers, they won't really use a scout very much. But a scout is very important to find uh, to find bottlenecks and to get sheep. Because the more sheep you have, the less you have to spend on windmills or farms. And that means most of your economy can go into teching up to the next stage. So the more sheep you find, the better. Thus the sheep wars of, uh, of, of, the, of the Dark Ages. The Great Sheep Wars. I can do uh, I can do some potent things at the fridge. Okay, so first thing first. One, two, three. One on wood. Two on gold. Because gold's quite far away, we'll build our thingy there. Crack these out. Let's go. Uh, what else have I got near me? Oh, I'm in a bad spot. You know it's bad when the gold's all the way over there. Uh, you were supposed to build this, you pleb. There you are. One. Two houses, so I don't have to worry about that again. Control one, let's go. And then all of these guys go on this. Let's go find some sheep. But... Yeah, you're building. I'm happy with that. Bottleneck, that's always good for me. I do like a bottleneck. Nothing makes me happier than knowing that I'm not on the flanks because the flanks always get pushed. When I spawn, as long as I'm in the middle, I'm a happy boy. This guy's going to have found all the sheep. Oh no, sheep bully. That is not good. Build me a logging camp. That's going to slow down my eco. He's with us, so that's why he's doing that for the gold. Search continues. Oh, some lovely gold there. Have I found many gold sites? Not really. This will be a problem later on. This will be a very big problem later on. That's stone. That's the holy site. More gold. I reckon I can cheese this. If I get some early... Um, early knights. I can do some raiding and set up over here in this bully. Look at that. Bad. That is bad. Some gold here, that's fine. Let's 
There we are. Quickly, everyone, build this. The stables first. Two on food. Build one of those. Yeah, 10. Need to tech up quick. Need to tech up quick for what I need. And then I need a load of guys on gold. See if we can find our uh, nemesis. Over here. We're on a big old hill, that's not fair. What is this? Palace. That's a lot of sheep. Can I take those sheep? No. And my guys can't be farting out many of those guys in a while. There we are. This has been lazy. It's been a lazy day. Lazy build, lazy life. Build this first and then you're all on food. You're going to build me as much food as possible. Now we can hopefully start um, exploding. My scout's going to go here. First one. I want about five before I can go raiding. That's a lot of sheep I'd like. This guy, they've won the sheep wars. Who's bad, man? Feels bad, man. Come on, crack these bad boys out. I need more. I've probably got too many guys on uh, gold right now. My food economy is garbage. Why has this happened? I can't believe I've done this. Uh, that should... Why did you... Oh my god. I'm so unhappy. The mill has doomed me. Why did you lose the game? Because I built a mill in the wrong place. Get some more guys in here. So that's three knights, which is good. It's not bad, but it's good. I want five before I can really do some uh, potent things. Mm. 
Prendre des squids C'est comme à faire, ya. Matt is five. Oh no, it's four. Four. What a shame. Not the end of the world, but it makes me feel pretty bad about the current situation. Okay, there we are. Let's go. We are leaving, probably. Probably. Food is still pretty garbage. You know what that means? Mills. Wow. Wow. What have we got there? Nothing of value. Tell me once you get there, will you? Oh, don't. It doesn't really matter to me. And then all of these on. Gold. And you're going to be number six, so I don't misclick you. So I don't really want to go for this chap here because I know he's going to be fortified up the arse. What I want to go is over here because I know the centre guy will be nice and uh, nice and sensitive. As is the way most of the time. It's unlikely the centre guy will be building many defences. Oh wow, this guy built a wooden palisade the entire way down. That's cursed. We can't be building stuff over here as well, surely. This guy left, leave, did he? No, he's ran away over there. Ah, oh, that's a well fortified this is. Don't run from me. Oh, 
Okay, now you tell me if anything goes wrong here. Uh, the gold is fine. Keep plowing these guys out. More wood, Malige. More wood. I don't know why these guys were building there, but hey ho. Okay, now run away, run away, run away. Costly, that was costly. But hey, oh, that is what it is. Uh, U24, you build me that wonder. That's going to be a quick wonder, but... Uh... I would prefer it if uh, I had more food. Okay, you guys are going to build that gold. Oh, lovely. That is lovely. Oh, based. And then I'm going to send a worker up to over here. Nope. Nope. Probably could take him, but I don't really want to waste the resources on him. There's a guy building something over here. There we are. Lovely stuff. Now you can see the uh, potency of the uh, of the buff. You slow, I'm slowly starting to steamroll out of control. It's just that I cannot afford to be too lazy with my cow. Where am I going to put you? What was I going to do with you? Oh yeah, you're going to put down a stable over here, weren't you? And that should starve them massively. In the meantime, what is my limiting factor? Food is good, gold is fine, wood is fine. So we're going to build a few more. Over here. Keep cracking these guys out. Make sure we're max researched on what we need, which is these guys. And make sure we crack out some more stables. And we just run away. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Do 
lovely stuff. Oh, I'm good. This is when you've got a good team and, you, and yeah, the French can be so potent that it's closing down. And as long as your team can, can capitalize on it, you are in a sweet, sweet position. So these guys head back over here. Uh, these guys, uh, you're all the same, so that doesn't matter. Because uh, I need to do some micro now. Just farm that gold. Cut that wood. Get that food. Get that food. There we are. What's going on over here? Oh, it's a wolf. Nothing to be too worried about. More cav malige. Did you build a blacksmith? I don't think we have built a blacksmith yet, which is a tad embarrassing. Oh, no, we have. Now we can wait with our extremely overpowered cav. I mean, we can keep being aggressive. Let's see why not. That's a wolf still. Nothing to be too worried about. But these guys have been absolutely cuckolded by uh, by the cow. And he's got his own cow now, but I think my cow are better. But I don't want to risk it, not unless I've got the rest of my team with me. I keep on falling into that trick. I think, ah, oh, I'm really good. I can just keep doing what I want, and then I get slack. So we'll be able to get to the Imperial Age soon ourselves. In the meantime, let's keep building. And... Um, what else do I need to do? I suppose we can start farming stone as well. So we can make some defences. Some keeps. That's just one rogue, lo, lo, rogue guy, but my scout's up here, so he hasn't spotted my uh, my scout who's just being able to keep an eye on everything. That guy's going to come back, and he's going to end up in a world of hurt. This is what I love about the Fenter, so potent early game. Let's get rid of the rest of his cow. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Now, we're going to have to stop any expansion over here, so that's what we're going to do. Start moving up over here to make sure they don't expand. Why can't I go to next age yet? 2,400 food, that's why. Yeah, that's why he's going to build his wonder. It's two gold sites. I, I gotta be aggressive here to stop them. Extracting that much gold. Mm. 
Okay, and this guy. You're going to build me that uh, heap, which we're going to dump over here. And you're all going to build that keep. My guy, my dude. A um, couple more. Make sure we still got guys stoning. So you can see the potency of the cow, but because they're so expensive, you've got to be very careful not to uh, over-exceed and get slapped. It's so, alright, trebuchets will fix that problem. Once we crack out the trebs, we'll be fine. And that's why we need more guys on wood. But this is fine. Yeah, wood is the limiting factor now. So you're going to build me... Um, you're going to go over here. And we're going to use this. And start farming there. Make sure we kill these guys so they can't do anything. And then my trebs, my trebby boys, once they're ready, we'll be alright. I've already upgraded fully there, uh, but wood is the limiting factor, so if I can get some more guys on wood, I would be a happy man. Lovely stuff. And the stone's fine. The stone is more than fine. I prefer trebs because they can fire over. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They are so potent. It's mad. Actually mad. Like, the early game, if you can get, if you can hold the gold like I'm doing now, you can build units that are fundamentally better and dominate the early game. But it's if you can't get the gold and they, they're able to micro and put out pikemen and crossbows and they do their eco right, then they can really stop you and then you're on a bad spot. But um, for the most part, these guys have not been doing a very good job. Oh, 
I sh so wish I had more wood. And then we could just dominate. Until then, because I just we can just keep on farting these guys out. Okay, where's his wonder? His wonder's over there, so worst case scenario I can retreat and fix that wonder. Is that the wonder? Okay, that's the wonder. You got some sheep there, but nothing to be too worried about. Look at the army comp. Yeah, you're right. In theory, it should be fine, but normally what would happen is I'd be able to get out some um, cannons and be able to spam cannons, but I didn't get enough wood. But Holy Roman Empire can do a lot of damage uh, in this in this army comp, but it's um, because these knights are so good. If you can withdraw from the combat, then as long as you get one or two, then then you can play a war of attrition. Uh, I'm going to build a market so I can buy more wood. And that's why you have other players, so their armies can uh, fix the problem. Can I get one pleb as well to uh, put down another... Yeah, I can spam that out. It's all about the gold. If you can dominate the gold, then you're fine. And we can slowly take out the forts, and then they're easy. We're living on easy street. And this is why I like the Trebs, because the Trebs can just slowly knock out these forts. When face mounted, saves you got only fight with a golden mine, like taking out siege equipment, otherwise those knights are always... Gonna... Yeah, exactly. Um, Really, if you're going to fight against mounted, then you're going to need handgunners or pikemen and some decent artillery. Whereas if you're cav, you can just crack out. Unless you're your own cav nation. But in most cases, you're very limited in what you can do. Okay, let's start getting these guys back and running away because my army can't fight all of those. So we're going to pull back a little bit. and let the fort start doing their jobs. So you just gotta be very careful with your cab, you can't just throw it away. Otherwise you can have a bad time. And we've got the wonders, so worst case scenario, I can withdraw some more. Yeah, we're fine. This is uh, this is an easy hold. That's the thing. Like, even with that pikeman and Holy Roman Empire had, as long as I withdrew back into thoughts on that. It's very difficult for them to chase me, so I can just dominate. Has he left the game? Yeah, I thought so. I thought he'd leave the game. Oh no, he's pushed back up. Not a good idea, if I'm honest. 
Nah, that's to be expected. Like, you knew you couldn't break through this because of our defensive positions. I feel like Cav is generally overpowered because there's so much you have to do to counter Cav. Like, with this build, I can knock out the Siege Artillery, and then with def defences, I'm basically un untouchable. And then with this Cav over here, number 9, number 8, we're going to keep on dominating. Oh no, this is why this cow's coming in. And with that, the battle is won. A good counter attack is really good. But that was very cut and dry, but the problem is they attacked fortifications and because I've got trebs, it wasn't going to work. Like they were winning, they would have won with that build, but because of the defensive buffs and that, it became pretty much impossible for them to, to counter. Because they had to push into this fort, they had to push into the order's defences, they had to push into my, my cav, then my other cav came out and destroyed their siege. It was uh, all together, bad news bears all involved. It was still it was a close one. But that's why um, the cav is so important to not throw it away. I could have thrown it away earlier by pushing here, pushing down south, trying to be too aggressive. But because it's so, they're so expensive and they take so long to uh, to recoup the losses on, especially in terms of gold cost, you don't want to do that. You want to just fall back, bide your time, and hopefully with some allied support, throw out some more. And always micro as well. Oh god, that's bad. Retreat, retreat, retreat. <laughs> retreat, retreat, retreat. you can't afford it. You can't afford that amount of losses. Once again, go in, knock out these. Keep going, and this is buying us time for our life. But you just can't afford to take that many losses after so long. Still, they have to push now. All oh, their minis gone.
I'm running out of gold, so I need to find a new gold deposit to uh, to cheese. And that's the thing, you're running out of gold quick with this build. Oh, really? Whoa. That's amazing. Thank you for telling me that. That's amazing. Uh, so we're going to have to go get more gold. And then retreat back because they're, we're going to uh, take casualties there. So retreat back over here. Let the fortifications do their thing. Once again, deal with the siege artillery. And run away. Yeah, they're not doing. And then finally, the allies turn up with uh, with the cavalry. Like with this build you can really do a lot of damage as long as you micro the cow because a lot of people won't micro the siege so they'll keep pushing forward, the siege will get left behind. And then it's just a case of GG. However it's very dependent on gold, if you can't win the gold, um, the gold meta you've probably already lost. I don't know. I don't know. They probably think it's easier to push on uh, on the other side. Where's the rest of the plebs? They're supposed to be coming down to repair this. But let's just see how tanky they are. They can just really, if on a defensive the cab is king, because they can just take a hit, pin the enemy down, and as long as you've got this area open, you can just keep coming through and just dominating. So the, that makes the fence so powerful because they're really good early raiders, very strong on the um, on a defense as well with trebuchets and wolves. And as long as they have that gold, for example, if they had been more aggressive and had held this area down, I'd have been really struggling to build units. But um, because they weren't particularly aggressive and I was able to sort of pin them down and do damage to them, they were just wiped and rolled over. Really, map control is extremely important. Map, map control and tribuches, so you don't have to micro so much. You might as well just charge in now. I'm pretty sure that was at least two or three of the enemy's armies, because there was no pushes up north, it must have been in like older players. 
Well, this is a great thing about four versus four. These massive battles, and if you've got good teams, it can be really fun. But if you've got a bad teams or you've got a pre-built team, you're, you're up against and you're going to struggle. Because this was a, this is fun. It was up in the air for a bit. I wasn't sure. And there you have it. But that's the thing I'll be saying. Because you cannot replace your knights, you can't afford to lose them. So you've got to treat them sparingly. You can't just spam them out and charge them into battle. So you've got to know what terrain to fire it on. You've got to know when to withdraw. Don't, if you're doing an even trade with your enemy troops, um, then you're doing it wrong as a French. You either need to win overwhelmingly or maintain the majority of your force. And if you're not doing that, then um, it's GG with that sort of uh, French knight build. And of course, map control. So if we take a look at the timeline, see I got to uh, ages. Where's my age four? Where am I? Oh, well, so that's wrong because I didn't stay on age two the entire game. I don't believe that's correct. <laughs> if I did stay on age two, that's very funny, but I don't believe that's correct. Battles. So yeah, I, don't, I think there's a bit of scuffed statistics. And battles throughout, you can see the massive losses in the troops. As compared to me, my army is not very large, but because of the defense losses are so good, you can counter. Military score, because of the cav, extremely high. Economy, extremely high. Tech, extremely high. It's, it's a really snowballing... Yeah. The knights, you, you cannot afford to take losses. Really good early raiding. Go out, early raid. Preferably just the centre uh, settle settlements because no one's really going to know um, know what they're doing. Um, raid with about five knights, but don't overdo it because if someone hard texts, then you're going to lose. Um, make sure you try and control the map and extract as much gold as possible for the late game because France has not got a lot of gold... Um, gold resources after after their initial deposits are taken, apart from trading, but that's not very good for the French, even though it's supposed to be good for them. Um, so you need map control, get that supply, and uh, that would be fine. Spring old, a, a good counter to this would be um, cannoneers. If you had a load of hand cannons um, and a load of culverins or a load of trebos, uh, hand, um, loads of hand cannons like Streltsky will just melt French knights, just absolutely melt them. Um, but that's why you fall back into defensive locations. You never try and fight an even match. Um, so, yes, yeah, Streltsky, um, pikemen not so much because you can't micro. Um, enemy cav, large amounts of enemy cav um, because they're disposable. They're quite good at wearing down that sort of build. But... Um, it's very strong against anti-rush, but it gets quite weak late game once people start massing out these troops. So this build for the France, France will lose dismally if it can't get map control because it needs its gold. Um, and it will lose if you throw your knights away. You, you've got to make sure you're constantly withdrawing them and you've got loads of stables just pumping out these knights. And keep an eye on some of their wood. But the great thing about France is that it's uh, it's... It only needs two techs to build its, uh, two resources to build its best uh, units, and that is food and gold. So if you want, you could just do an early game rush, don't even bother about wood, and just churn out loads of knights. However, then of course you're risking a lost late game. But yeah, France is an extremely powerful snowballer. OP, I would say, OP. But there are counters to it, so it's not that bad. Uh, let's do the Mongols now. I find the Mongols are pretty fun as well. 